In today's video, we're gonna walk through your preseason nutrition plan for basketball so that way you can make sure you're fueled properly going into your season and you're in the best place possible to really have your breakout season this coming year. As we're watching this video, we're heading into late October and season is right around the corner. For some of you guys, some of you guys, you got to wait till spring of 2021, but the principles still apply. But the season is coming up faster than you think. And you need to take this time before team practices start, training camp start and whatnot. So that way you can make sure that you're in the best place possible to perform because a lot of players mess this up. And the first thing we need to discuss when it comes to your nutrition plan is your calorie intake. As always, if you've seen any of my videos, you know calorie intake is the most important component of your nutrition plan for athletic performance. If you're under eating, you're under fueling, you're gonna underperform. Same thing here. And this especially matters if you were in a fat loss phase during the off season. So if you were gaining muscle or just focusing on performance, odds are your calorie intake is probably fine. You'll just wanna pay attention to biofeedback and how your body's responding. I have some videos on the channel about that, by the way. But you wanna pay attention to those things and adjust accordingly. But if you're in a fat loss phase in your off season, you're trying to get leaner, maybe you're just trying to do that to help your vertical jump. I don't know what the case is for your individual situation, but if you were doing that, then you really want to take the time to ramp your calories back up before you get to training camp. You don't want to go into training camp or your first team practices or even in season. If you really mess this up, you don't want to go into your season under fueling. So take the time to ramp your calories back up. I prefer to start this process at least eight weeks, 10 weeks before that initial practice, because that gives you time to ramp the calories up slowly you don't have to do this but for a lot of players mentally it helps because if you spent all that time losing body fat and getting lean you don't really want to just jump from your calorie deficit back up to maintenance in one go you might gain some unwanted weight there so a way to mitigate that is to ramp it up slowly over time and that way when you get to training camp you're eating enough, you're fueling properly, but you also kept the results of your fat loss phase. Additionally, you wanna make sure you're prioritizing carbohydrates. So as you're increasing your calorie intake to match your energy needs going into your season, that increase in calories should probably come from carbs. There might be some exceptions to that rule, but for the most part, that calorie increase is gonna come through carbohydrates because usually that's what you're gonna decrease as you get into the later stages of your fat loss phase. You might need to increase fat a little bit as well, but mostly that increase is gonna come from carbs. And then of course, you'll wanna make sure that other components of your nutrition plan are in place. So all three macros, your hydration, your micronutrient intake, your sleep and recovery, it's not directly nutrition related, but it does affect your recovery, your performance and whatnot going into your season. So you wanna make sure that stuff is dialed in because you may have kind of loosened up a little bit during the off season, that is fine, it's not a big deal, but you want to make sure that you're doing everything possible going into your season because I know how important this is for you. You might be competing for a scholarship. You might be competing for your starting spot. You might be competing for a pro contract. If you're doing that, you really need to make sure that you're doing everything in your power to give yourself the best chance possible. And if you're not paying attention to your nutrition, you're not adjusting accordingly as your energy expenditure increases or decreases or whatever the situation may be for you. If you're not matching your nutrition needs to your performance needs, you're not giving yourself the best chance to make all those things happen. And you're gonna be disappointed by the end of the season. So please take that into consideration. And just to recap and summarize, the main priority, get your calorie intake up, most likely do it through carbohydrates. And then of course, make sure that other components of your plan are in place because it all matters. And overall, by the time training camp starts, that first day of practice, you should be completely dialed in to give yourself the best chance to secure your spot in the rotation and have a successful season. And one of the biggest issues going into training camp, going into season for a lot of hoopers is your stamina. So I have some videos on the channel going over how to use nutrition specifically to increase your stamina. So I'll put that on the screen right now. Of course, if you enjoyed this one, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for new videos every single week. And I will see you in that next video.